Here is my weekly security news roundup for the week ending November 24, 2023. State of Maine data breach impacts 1.3 million people. The U.S. state of Maine says it has suffered a data breach impacting around 1.3 million people. According to the census from July 2022, that's more or less the entire population of Maine. The state of Maine says it was compromised via a known vulnerability in Secure Transfer Service Move It Transfer. This vulnerability is known to be used by the CLOP ransomware gang. The type of stolen data varies from person to person, likely because the data breach affected multiple agencies in the state. More than 50% of the data exposed in the breach came from Maine's Department of Health and Human Services, while between 10 and 30% came from the state's Department of Education. The breach also impacted several other departments. Read more at malwarebytes.com. Alarm system cyber attack leaves those in need struggling to call for help. An alarm system company that allows those in need to ask for help at the touch of a button has suffered a cyber attack, causing serious disruption. Tanstal Netherlands says the attack left the control room struggling to receive distress calls from clients on Sunday, November 12, 2023. Tanstal, among others, provides services and systems to allow smart monitoring in various healthcare settings. One of the services provides sick or disabled persons and the elderly with an alarm button that can be used in case of an emergency. Under normal circumstances, the control room would relay the distress call to a caregiver so they can check on and provide help. Read more at malwarebytes.com. OpenAI has another new CEO. And it's the same old CEO, Sam Altman. OpenAI, the creators of ChatGPT, has been plunged into chaos since Friday last week, when its board of directors fired its CEO and co-founder, Sam Altman. Since then, the company has had two CEOs in the form of Mira Murati, OpenAI's chief technology officer, and Emmett Shear, ex-Twitch CEO. Now the company has a new board of directors, and they have chosen a new CEO, Sam Altman. Yes, the previous one himself. OpenAI announced through its ex, formerly known as Twitter, account that it has agreed in principle for its ex-CEO, Sam Altman, to return as CEO. As part of the arrangement, the composition of its board of directors has also been changed. Read more at AndroidAuthority.com. NVIDIA employees' blunder led to a lawsuit. French automotive company Valio has sued NVIDIA, alleging that the company stole its trade secrets. The lawsuit stems from a screen-sharing incident in 2022, in which an NVIDIA employee inadvertently shared Valio's source code files. Valio alleges that Mohammed Manaruzaman, an engineer for NVIDIA who used to work for the, their company, had mistakenly shown its source code files on his computer as he was sharing his screen during a meeting with both firms. Valio's employees quickly recognized the code and took screenshots before Manaruzaman was notified of his mistake, according to the complaint filed. Read more on ghacks.net. Security researchers bypass Windows Hello fingerprint authentication. Security researchers at Blackwing Intelligence managed to bypass Windows Hello fingerprint authentication on devices with the three most used fingerprint sensors on Windows. The researchers were asked by Microsoft's Offensive Research and Security Engineering to evaluate different fingerprinting sensors that could be used to authenticate using Windows Hello. The three targeted laptops were a Dell Inspiron 15, the Lenovo ThinkPad T14, and the Microsoft Surface Pro Type Cover 
with fingerprint ID. All fingerprint sensors were mock sensors, which means match on chip. The sensors used integrated microprocessors to perform the verifications of authentication requests. Windows Hello requires fingerprinting sensors to support mock. Read more at ghacks.net. Atomic Stealer Malware is tricking Mac users with fake browser updates. Atomic Stealer is a malware that has been plaguing Mac users for a while now. This time, attackers are tricking users in a more sophisticated manner by pretending to offer browser updates. Atomic Stealer, also known as AMOS, is a stealer which can harvest passwords from your Apple iCloud keychain, crypto assets, files, and other personal data. It was first discovered by security researchers in April of 2023, though it has since evolved. Criminals who have access to AMOS have been using it to fish victims using various techniques, including via cracked software. Read more at ghacks.net. This Windows file controls the uninstallation of Edge, Web Search, and other features. Microsoft plans to introduce fundamental changes to its Windows 10 and 11 operating system in the coming months. Two of the main changes allow users to uninstall Microsoft Edge and Web Search from the operating system. Downside is that these changes will become available for users in many European countries only. There are ways around this limitation, though. The changes are in testing currently. Microsoft plans to launch them officially on March 6, 2024. Our colleagues over at Desk Mutter have now discovered that recent updates for Windows 10 and 11 include the functionality already, although it is in a locked state. Read more at ghacks.net. This week's must-see on my YouTube channel. Tips for using BARD with YouTube videos and channels. These tips ensure accurate information when using Google's BARD to analyze and summarize YouTube videos and channels. Please watch my video on that topic by following the link listed. Did you know? During an average lifetime while sleeping, you could eat around 70 different insects and 10 spiders or more. That fact should make you sleep well tonight. After Outcast sang Shake It Like a Polaroid Picture, Polaroid released a statement that said shaking or waving can actually damage the image. I would like to be known as a person who is concerned about freedom and equality and justice and prosperity for all people, thanks to Rosa Parks. Something we should all live by. Just thought you might want to know. And that's a wrap for this week's Security News Roundup. Stay safe, stay secure, and I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye, and thanks for watching and listening.